So this is not one of these typical I survived X days in Minecraft hardcore videos which are currently trending on YouTube but let me know in the comments if I should do one of these. It's just a normal episode of my hardcore series but we're actually passing 300 days in this episode as you can see right here we are at day 277. Anyways welcome back to another episode of Minecraft hardcore. And the big project for today is actually I want to build one of these glass floor liquid illusion thingies. Yeah, I'm gonna show you a picture. I don't know how to explain what I mean. And then I thought, where should I build this? And the idea I came up with since someone recommended to build a waterfall right here at that mountain. I will continue the river until we reach the mountain right here. Build a waterfall, make a secret cave entrance behind the waterfall and then a big cave room thing with that liquid glass illusion floor. And for what are we going to use this room then? Well, I thought why not put a diamond pile in it? So we're going to get some more diamonds in this episode too. But to start things off, I did one thing you guys recommended to add some dyed glass panes in here so the fish can't get back into the ocean. So let's just get some more buckets right here. There we go, we got 16 buckets now. Let's get some fish. Hello there. Whoa, where are you coming from? Now we can land here and add our fishes. Oh, oh, ow. Yeah, I didn't meant to do that. There we go. Even more. Even more. All right, there we go. 15 fishes added to the river. All right, so now that we have some fish in our river, it's actually time to get the materials so we can finish building the river and start building the waterfall on the mountain. So I'm gonna fill this two shulker boxes right here with grass and I need to get some sand too. I think we need more clean stone. So let's just take our silk touch pickaxe and make a netherite one and yeah. Now I'll go and get some materials. Alright, so I got quite some grass and sand now. Now it's time to get some more stone. And what better way to get stone while strip mining? So let's just go strip mine for a while. Let's see if we can find some diamonds already. Oh, there's a cave right here and some more lava any diamonds nope nope don't you dare don't you dare get in the lava whoa diamond we found some diamonds is it an eight it's an eight look at that how nice is that man what a nice way to find diamonds. There's another creeper right there. Let's just... Oh, there are quite some creepers. Alright, now that we got the materials we need to finish off the river and the waterfall I'm planning to do, we can actually start on doing that. So, time lapse time, here you go, enjoy, 3, 2, 1, let's go. And there we go, the waterfall is done and the river is also done. 
And now what I wanna do is actually get behind the waterfall right here. Yeah, you can see that. So let's actually try it. Yeah, something like that. Let me check that from the outside. Yeah, that's a lot better down there. And now we can work on that cave room. So since this room is going to be a little bigger, we are going to, well, clean our inventory first. All right, inventory cleared. And now we are going to get the beacon, of course. So we get haste. Oh, and we need one of these. There we go, we should have haste now. Great. There we go, that's what I wanted. And now in here I'm going to build that cave room. So yeah, let's just make a big cave. Yeah, I need to repair my tools. Alright, it's been two hours now and I'm quite tired of breaking blocks now and I want to play some blocks now. This is where we're at right now. The hardest part will be to make this roof or cave cave roof look good but for now let's start on getting the glass since we need quite some glass for this project but before we go and get the glass for that project and the actual color we need for all the glass i will quickly hop into a creative world to check which colors i'm actually going to use for this so i think i'm gonna go with white since white sells the effect the best i think let's go and get quite some sand so yeah back to the hardcore world all right so we need to go and get some sand now all right we got quite some sand now I also need some wool which means I need to get some sheep one and two Only this white die, right? So if I do this at the bone meal. Okay, so you do this, and then you do this. There we go, we got white stained glass, perfect. Oh, we also need quite some torches. We got, there we go. And I saw in my creative world, I need to dig a one more block down right here. So let's quickly do that. All right, that's it. And now it's torch placing time. All right, guys. So since it will still take a while for me to get all the resources I need for that infinite glass void thingy, I will just do that right now and be back once I got everything I need. A few moments later. All right. 20 to 30 minutes later and we got 
this. We got quite some carpet and almost two shulker boxes full of the glass we need. So let's just so let's just place them here. And now comes the most annoying part of this whole project. We need to place carpet above all these torches. Yeah, this is going to take a while. This it's annoying. I don't want to do this. This is taking forever. Almost done. Come on. Come on. Yes, I finally did it. All right, this took way too long. Let's just actually start with the glass. Oh yeah, I think I will actually time-lapse this again. Enjoy. So, there we go. I'm really happy with how this turned out and this is just great. I really like this. The only thing left for this cave room is the roof, the walls and what else and of course some more lighting which I can add once I did the roof but I want to do one thing now. I know we only got 12 at the moment, but I like where this is going. So let's just go strip mine for an hour or a little bit more and see how many diamond blocks we can get. Oh. That's diamonds. Here. No, 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 my shulker box. I didn't mean to place that shulker box right there. Get my shulker box back. There we go, we got another diamond. That's one, two, oh, and three, four, nice. Oh, more diamonds. Always at the end of one of these strips I mine. A few moments later. Finally. It's been like 10 minutes now and we finally found some more diamonds. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. Whoa! Diamonds! I was just searching for that lava pit, which is somewhere around here. Or is it above? Ah, it is above, okay. Oi! Oi! Oh, please be an eight. Please be an eight. Five, six, seven. Oh, it is an eight. All right. So after almost an hour of mining for diamonds, this is what we got. And let's see how many blocks these are. Ooh, there's one diamond missing for one more block. But I take it, that's 18 blocks. Nice. Look at that. I really like how this turned out. And now to finish off this episode, I'm finishing this cave room thingy, whatever, by finishing the roof and adding some lights. I know there were lots of time lapses in this episode, but here you go. One more.
All right, guys, we are done with the project. Let's quickly go and check it out. By the way, check this view. This river was just the best idea. So let's get behind the waterfall. Ta-da! Yeah, that was a great idea too. Not just the river was a great idea, but this, yeah, I really like this. I never had the patience in my life to build something like this in survival, but you guys make me motivated to keep going on this hardcore series. And at this point, a big thanks to you guys for the big support recently. I really appreciate that. And yeah, so do you know what I call perfect timing? To finish off this episode, we now just quickly get our emerald beacon. Place it back where it belongs to. Go to sleep. And now, guess what? We're at day 300! We officially survived 300 days in Hardcore Minecraft. Anyways, that's it for today's episode. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. I would really appreciate the project of this episode. Took way too long. If you're not part of the best squad right now, make sure to... In the next episode, I think I will add a little board right here, so we can write on the board what we actually want to do and use it like a checklist. But until then, see you next time.